Hello, everybody. This is Tyler Harrell Quebec. Today, I'm doing a video of <clears throat> uh, my VHS collection with rare commercials and ads at the beginning. Let's get started. I have two clamshells and... Twenty-three silk covers, one without case. Okay, so I have to talk to my six right now. Mom and man love a video. Okay. So, anyways, let's get started. First, I have the nice night three table days. The madness. I did the opening of some YouTube already. This has a crush commercial at the beginning. Um, for flavors such as orange grape and diet orange. October 14, 1993. And yeah. next, I got Casper. This has a diet coke commercial at the beginning. 31st week of 1995. And now let's get to the slip covers. And guys, I will not be including closings or anything. If you want to know what the closings are from the description or something, and I will answer them. I'll answer them hopefully soon. Home Alone 1991 VHS. Um, after the trailer to Fern Gully Last Rainforest, it has an American Airlines commercial and then a Pepsi commercial. 26th week of 1991. Next, I got Home Alone 2 Lost in New York. This has another American Airlines commercial at the beginning. <clears throat> and then after that, it has a live cereal commercial at the beginning. 22nd week of 1993. I have Indiana Jones Last Crusade. And this has a Diet Coke commercial at the very beginning. 51st week of 1989. Both of my copies Terminator 2. This one has it. This is the only one to have it at the end. And this copy has has two commercials at the very beginning. They are um one of them is a fitness commercial. It actually has Arnold Schwarzenegger in it, which is pretty cool. And after that, it goes to the Carl Cohen video logo and live logos, I think. And then it goes to a Subway commercial, which is kind of cool. Um, just like Mr. Davini's second copy, I think. And, um, just like one of Mr. Devaney's copies, I know for sure. And, um, like he told me yesterday. And, told me about it. So I went ahead and checked the opening, and it sure does. I did the opening to my entire series, all because I'm a teacher, if you want to see it. And, yeah, printed the 31st week of 1992. The case is pretty well worn on it, but the tape still works fine. Yeah, the case is pretty worn out on it. And this is the opposite. This gets damaged at the beginning. The tape still works fine though. This at the end, this has a promo for some for some Terminator 2 stuff, like like some sh like a shirt and a hat and stuff like that. 43rd week that's how what it has at the end. It was before the Carl Cohen live closing logos, and then it has the white screen of death. Next, I have two copies of Batman 1989 VHS. And both of the both of these copies have been tested. Both of these have the Diet Coke commercial. And then a Looney Tunes catalog at the beginning. Before third week of 1989, I tried doing an opening estate, but it is getting copyrighted. It says includes copyright content. You know what? I'm going to leave it up for now. I don't care. But um, I will take it down um, in a couple months. They're, it's going to stay for a couple months. Because I am not letting YouTube ruin, ruin it staying up on YouTube. Um, go ahead and check out the opening if you want to see it. October 13, 1989, but both of these, both of these open the exact same way. Both of these, both of these have the Diet Coke commercial and a Bluetooth catalog. Top Gun 1987 VHS, this has a Diet Pepsi commercial at the very beginning. Top Gun variant, I think. Tenth week in 1987, and this has this, and this has, yeah, but it's pretty cool it has that commercial at the beginning. I almost, I almost accidentally spoiled the ending. The closing to it, but I'm not including the closings in this. Dirty Dancing. This has a Mountain Dew commercial at the beginning. No print date or week in year code. I know that. License to Kill. This has a Sweepy's Tonic Water commercial. Talk, yeah, Tonic Water commercial. No print date or week in year code. Yeah. Now, I tried doing opening up, but that also got claimed. I'll just go to Heaven, Demo Tape. This has a Bounty commercial at the very beginning. 
you know, you see that Downey in the back, it does have the commercial, the anchor proof, check out the opening to it. Yeah, pretty cool, probably really, really rare, rare 1990 demo tape. May 1st, 1990. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, this has a Pizza Hut commercial at the beginning. Sticker label, July 8th, 1990. TMNT2, this has a Burger King commercial at the beginning. That's pretty weird because I know the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles' favorite food is pizza. That's weird. This actually is a Burger King commercial. That is weird. No per date or week and year code for some weird reason. Some weird reason mine has no per date or week and year code. I know Mr. Davini's copy has a print date, but his is broken. Hope he gets a new copy soon. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 3, hear that or hope he fixes his. And this has a uh, Haynes commercial at the beginning. May 21st, 1993. Next, I got both of my copies of Rush Hour. And both of these have a... Um, I know I know both of these have a game a game at the beginning. A preview for a game at the beginning. February 17th, 1999. And I could just tell this one does. And this one has been tested. This one does. April 29th, 1999. Rush Hour 2. This has an AOL commercial at the beginning. At least my copy does. No, Mr. Vay's copy does not have an AOL commercial for some weird reason. However, my copy has it. October 13th, tell 1. I guess it's mostly on earlier copies or something. Beethoven, 1992 VHS. This has a Universal Studios Florida bumper. But However, it's different than most of them because it actually is the one where they were inter interviewing people about it. It's pretty cool. Uh, 32nd week of 1992. Um, next I got both my copies of Spider-Man. And I know this had, both of these have a singular wireless commercial at the beginning. I think it was. 37th week of Channel 2. Both of these have that commercial. I think they, um, it also has an animated series, uh, bumper. I think... Think? I don't remember exactly what it was. I actually, actually, I don't think that it's that's what it is. It was like, it was like, I don't know. It was like some bumper. I forgot what it was. So I remember the Columbia TriStar television logo, like kind of short or something like that. This the Canadian copy, as you can see. August twenty fourth, Channel Two. This is a Canadian copy has the exact same previews as my other Channel Two tape, and it does have the the singular commercial at the beginning. Uh, more rings, fellowship of the ring. Just like, just like Rush Hour. This also has. Um, what was it? Oh! Oh! I forgot to say something, guys. My Rush Hour tapes also have um, a preview. F no, my Rush Hour 2 tape. My bad. My Rush Hour 2 tape also had a preview for a new line. Um, enter, enter, enter film. Whatever it was. What's it again? Um, Infinity film, I think. I forget what part I was, but... Yeah, July 10th, Town 2. This has, um, it also has a video game trailer at the beginning. Forgot which one it was, though. I think it was to this movie? I don't remember. I'll have to look at that again. Don't remember it exactly. Uncle Buck. Um, this also has a Universal Studios Florida bumper at the beginning. I, actually, the last three I have, have have the exact same thing. 52nd week of 1989. Um, I remember my VHS of Parenthood um, also has it. Sam Freak in 1990. And lastly, Field of Dreams. 49th Freak in 1990. That's it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. That's it. That's. Um, when, when, when I'm done with the video. Anyways, that's it for this video. See you guys later.